Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about how to slow down uh, premature graying. Okay. So if you're losing the hair color, uh, here are some things that you can do. First thing you need to know is that the cells that make the pigment are called melanocytes. They make melanin, which form the pigment. And not just in your hair, but in your eyes, your skin. And you actually have something called a melanogenic clock. And this is basically a clock involved in the aging process. And as you get older, you lose the color of your hair and you go gray. What we want to do is prevent the premature graying effect, okay? And uh, keep the color there as long as possible. So there are several things involved. Uh, one is tyrosinase, okay? This is an enzyme um, that has copper in it. And you need this enzyme to make melanin, okay? And you can get this enzyme in mushrooms, by the way. So mushrooms are one thing you can start consuming. All right, also copper containing foods. I don't recommend copper supplements. I recommend foods high in copper. Oysters, seafood, liver are all foods that are high in copper, okay? Or just do the mushrooms. All right, that's one thing. Number two, your adrenals. When your adrenals are stressed, what happens is you start generating excessive amounts of hydrogen peroxide. Now, if you know about hydrogen peroxide, it can oxidize something. If you put it on your hair, it'll take the color right out of your hair. Try this, no, don't try this. Just so happens that the remedy is vitamin E. Vitamin E will help decrease excessive amounts of hydrogen peroxide in your body. Because this is an oxidant, this is an antioxidant. Vitamin E does a lot of things in your body. It has properties of anti-sterility. In other words, it increases fertility. Uh, it helps combat hot flashes. It helps reduce the intensity of spider veins. It helps premature wrinkles and improves your skin. The pituitary is the storage for a lot of your vitamin E, okay? So when you go into menopause and you lose the function of the ovary because you're not going to have babies anymore, guess what happens? Your vitamin E drops significantly. Women that are premenopausal or menopausal have much lower vitamin E levels than they did before uh, that change of life. So this is one of the reasons why the buildup of hydrogen peroxide, because they don't have enough vitamin E. Okay, so if you're menopausal, uh, make sure you eat more leafy greens, seeds, nuts, wheat germ oil is really good, or take a vitamin E complex. Don't do a synthetic version, get the whole complex, okay? Because it can help you on a lot of different levels. And one more reason why you might go gray is you're deficient in either PABA, biotin, or inositol. These are B vitamins, okay? But it's not because of your diet. It's because of the microbiome, the gut flora, the bacteria in your gut that actually help to produce these and help recycle these. So for example, if you take an antibiotic or have a situation where you lose your friendly bacteria, um, it can greatly reduce these uh, key vitamins that are essential in keeping the color as well. So one area that you might want to look at and improve is your gut. Take a really good probiotic. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.